Welcome to Telemetry TV. Our cloud-based digital signage platform is the easiest way to transform screens into a powerful engagement tool. In this video, I'll be walking you through a demo where you'll learn how to create and manage beautiful signage content across multiple screens. Let's get started. The first step is creating your content. Playlists are ordered and scheduled lists of content that you will assign to your screens. To get started building content, head to the playlist section. Here is the playlist editor, where you're able to select a playlist to edit or create a new one. On the left, you can see a list of playlist pages. You can easily drag and drop to reorder them. In the middle, you can see a preview of your selected page and from the right, you can edit the page content or add new page content. When a page is blank, you're able to add or create content from the right-hand side. Let's explore the different types of content we can add. Our library of over 70 turnkey apps allows you to create content in seconds. We offer a wide variety of apps that do a variety of different things. A few of our most popular apps are our Events app, which allows you to integrate your Google, Outlook, or other iCal calendars to display events. Our YouTube app to stream channels or videos. Our RSS app to display news feeds or our menu app to build easy to update menus. We have integrations with things like Google Slides, Sheets, and Docs, Vimeo and YouTube, and a variety of YouTube channels and RSS feeds to choose from. Custom apps like the Website app or Button app allow you to display live web content or create an interactive page for a touchscreen display. I'm going to select a weather app from my shared apps folder to add to my page. You can also create more dynamic pages using playlist zones. Our Zones feature allows you to section your page into different regions, adding different pieces of content into each section. Drag and drop the zone borders to even further customize your page layout. Or input your own custom zone configuration using CSS. Let's move on to media. You can upload files to your media library and organize them by folder. We support the upload of images, videos, PowerPoints, and PDFs. You can also drag and drop media to upload it or upload media from Google Drive or OneDrive. Next is Canva. Our Canva integration allows you to create your own custom content directly within Telemetry TV using a drag and drop editor. Leverage Canva's free templates and other resources and save directly to your media library. You can even modify the designs once they've been saved without having to replace the design with a newly updated version. Many of our customers use Canva to create branded templates that they can use to create content in a few clicks. Our web app feature, leverage our SDK to custom code your own app using CSS, JavaScript, or HTML. This feature allows you the freedom to deploy almost anything you want on your digital signage displays. 
Once your web app is created, you can easily save it to your account for future use with custom fields that can be quickly updated. Web shots allow users to capture web content behind a login and then display this content as a page on your playlist. More specifically, the web shots feature allows users to automate the login process to access and display real-time web content without compromising security. Once you've created your page, you can also set a page background to make your page look more uniform. Select from your media folders or our pre-uploaded library of background images. Once your content is in our playlist, you can use our other features to configure and schedule your content. Set the duration of each page from the dropdown here to indicate how long each page plays. You'll be able to see the duration of each page under their thumbnails on the left. You can even multi-select pages by holding shift to change all their durations at once. Set scheduling rules to limit specific pages to different days of the week, hours of the day, or even a start and end date if the content is only relevant to a specific time frame. These features allow you to program content ahead of time without having to manually edit all your schedules. We also offer more advanced features such as tag filtering to limit pages to specific devices. If you're technical, you can even leverage our API to make programmatic updates to your playlists. Under Configuration, you can set custom aspect ratios for your playlists, manage transition animations, and even enable touch interactivity for touchscreen devices. Under Overlays, you can turn on playlist overlays like custom logo, the clock or weather, or even a scrolling ticker tape message. Our Overrides feature allows you to take over screens with any content at a given time. This pauses your playlists to display the override on screen and can be used for a range of use cases, such as announcements, emergency notifications, and even to celebrate. Overrides can be triggered manually or scheduled for a specific time. You can also set up webhooks to trigger overrides via our API. Once your playlist is ready, the next step is to assign it to a device. Our device interface is designed to make it easy to manage tens to thousands of devices across one or many locations. Once you have paired or provisioned compatible devices to your account, you'll be able to view your devices listed here. You'll see the device name, playlist, and other important stats. From the right, you can assign playlists to your devices. You can also multi-select devices to change playlists all at once. Once a playlist is assigned to a device, click the calendar icon if you wish to set scheduling rules for that playlist and device. This allows you to have multiple playlists assigned to one device, displaying at different times. When a device is selected, you're able to view a preview of the device screen and other device information. For example, You can change the device name, set device identifier fields such as a description and location, set up device tags for tag filtering, and set up device status notifications to be notified when a device goes offline. You can also view device logs to identify the cause of any issue or view playback logs to keep an eye on the content playing on your device. Telemetry TV is hardware agnostic, meaning we are compatible with a wide range of devices and operating systems. Check out the signage page on our website or click the add icon in your trial account for more information on devices. 
We also offer our own proprietary operating system called Telemetry OS. It's a pared down digital signage first system optimized for high definition videos, web apps, network stability, and minimal total cost of ownership. Users running Telemetry OS receive automatic security patches and software updates, as well as access to features not available to other operating systems, like AI audience analytics and IPTV. Now that we've covered the basic steps of creating content, building playlists, and assigning playlists to screens, let's get into user management. The Users and Groups section allows you to manage your account's users as well as assign them specific, granular permissions within your account. Using Telemetry TV's foldering system, you're able to create folders for things like devices, playlists, media, overrides, and apps, and assign access to these folders based on things like position, department, or location. You can also create different user groups with different levels of permission. Turn on or off entire sections of Telemetry TV to limit what users can access. You can even choose which users can and cannot publish playlists and require administrator approval for any changes. All right, we've covered all the major sections of Telemetry TV. To learn more about other advanced features, check out the rest of our documentation library our videos, or reach out to our team on support chat if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.